Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today here we are with the Samsung Galaxy Fit E. I've been using it for the last couple of days. I did yesterday 16 case of run using this one and other two and today I did 13. By the way what I'm comparing with which I will not share any comparisons yet it's too early today only the first impressions but using my phone my chest strap these tractors and also the Mi Band 3 so that I have an idea and I will give you feedback about its accuracy in just a few moments but at this moment what I can say is that for the first impressions I've got mixed feelings and I will share them with you right now now starting with the device itself it's nothing spectacular in terms of technology it's nice it has a nice design it's thin it's elegant I really enjoyed the the strap the way that we secure it here on our wrist so overall in terms of design I have no complaints at all it has a small screen which might be an advantage uh, in terms of aesthetics and it might be a disadvantage which we will uh, talk about that in just a few moments and it is waterproof so it's great to water sports and so on and so forth i'm really curious to know how it behaves in terms of swimming i still haven't had the chance to dive in by the way we can use it up to 50 meters which i will not but for swimming i will uh, enjoy knowing how it compares with superior devices like this one which helps me a lot to motivate to do more than jogging and i'm really curious to know if this device which is cheap than this one will do the same similar or what but in a few days I will be able to say a lot more about that so in terms of the device this is it in terms of software then there's a lot more and I will try to resume as much as possible there are two apps one of which is the Galaxy Fit and we will use that app to configure the way that we want to use this smart band and as you guys can see on screen we can for example change the uh, watch faces I believe that there are six different watch faces to choose from you can also choose the way that we want the notifications to appear if we want to disable enable now in terms of the notifications have in mind that having a small screen like this one we will only see the title of the notification let's say that it's Instagram it will only say Instagram uh, for messenger the name of the person that sent the message but it will not show the all message like uh, we have available on some devices so this is something to consider and basically these are the most important options on the app for the configuration now there's the Samsung Elf app which is the app that we will use to track our activity to track our sports and this might be the main reason to get this band of course we need to do a lot more tests not only me but all the users and share with the community of course but if it behaves so well like it did on jogging on running on all the other sports then it will be a great option especially in terms of the app which is really complete I'm sure that you already are seeing something there on screen and you can see that we have a lot of options right over there it includes the option to track food for example we can add what we had on breakfast lunch and so on and so forth in my particular case I use a different app but in here we can centralize everything we can also track the weight if we want to we can track the heart rate and regarding the heart rate it has an option that I really enjoy on any device which is the option to to have it enabled and having the heart rate being monitored constantly 24 7 which is great there's a downside which is the battery but I will talk about that in just a few moments and then there is a part which I love which is the option to have a lot of sports because I do most of the time jogging but there are people that do a lot different sports and most of the smart bands usually don't have as many sports as I've seen here on the Samsung Elf app one that I'm really curious as I said it's swimming but in a few days I will have more info to see how it behaves now one really important thing and I'm happy with it it's in terms of the accuracy as I said on these two days I did on the first day 16k on the second day which is today 13k I used my Amazfit uh, Stratos I did use my iPhone with the chest strap and I also used the Mi Band 3 and I'll show you guys a few images right over there and in terms of the accuracy what I can say is that it behaves really well I didn't see any major difference between the three but to be honest I'm not really sure which one is more accurate I imagine that those that have GPS like my phone and the Stratos are the most accurate but the difference as you guys can see is really really small one more interesting feature is that for example if I forget to 
touch the app to say that I'm starting a exercise. The smart band will check my heart rate, will check the speed and it will start exercise automatically, which is great. And if you take a look at the example, it did measure a few more meters, but nothing special. And it's great so that you don't have to touch the app, just run away and the uh, smart band will do everything for us. And lastly, in terms of battery, what I can say is that using it for the last three days, but two days uh, intensively and using the heart rate monitor uh, 24 seven, we will get roughly two days out of it. Today morning, as you guys can see, I just recorded, I have left about 15% battery and I am almost sure that it will not uh, give me the rest of the day. So if we want to use all the features, my suggestion is that we will have to charge it every single day. And I also believe that if I remove the heart rate sensor uh, the way that it is and just senses, I don't know, once a day or twice a day or when I'm exercising, then the battery will last a lot longer. I'm not really sure what are the specifications, but I do believe that we will get on a device like this probably two weeks without any issues at all. But of course, we will have to remove a few features, especially this one on the heart rate monitor. And that is it, guys. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.